The date is, Amanda, what's the date? July 14th. July 14th, okay. Me and my friend Amanda. Hi. Are at Metairie Health, and you're gonna talk to Dr. Lee about this whole HCG phenomenon. Yes. Okay, so why do you want to know about HCG? Well, I've been struggling a lot with my weight. Um, you know, I have a three-year-old son, and before I had him, I never had a weight problem ever. I barely even had to exercise, and I, you know, was always a size two, a size four, no problem. Um, and after, with my son, I gained a ton of weight. I totally was not prepared. I thought that I could just eat whatever I wanted, and it would come off, and I was totally wrong. It was like 60 pounds I gained, 58 pounds. Wow. Yeah, the day I went in to have my son, they weighed me, and um, they said they said my weight was like 174 pounds, and my husband goes, holy cow, that's, that's, he's like, that's more than I weigh. And it was like the meanest thing he could say, but it was true. And that's kind of where it's He's lucky you didn't kill him, especially well, given the hormone situation. I, I think I was in denial that I was even that high on the scale, you yeah. know? And then um, after I had my son, I thought, you know, I lost about half of it, um, no problem. But then this last, you know, 10 to 20 pounds, depends on the week, I can't seem to get rid of it at all. And now I exercise more than I've ever exercised. I do spin class, you know, two or three times a week. Um, I had a trainer off and on for the last year to help get me motivated. Um, I do a weightlifting class at the gym at least once a week. Um, I even have a spin bike at home for when I can't get to the classes. And it's just this last 10 to 15 pounds. I cannot get it off to save my life. Yeah. So. It's just like a layer of fat, you know. Um, and then I've also been experiencing just like bloating. Like I just, I'll, if I have a bad day of eating, it's like I have water weight gain that just won't go away. You know, it's like I'm super sensitive to that and I can't, just can't seem to get my body even like where I feel good like I used to feel. Yeah. Are you eating bad? Like you said, you have bad eating days. So do you think that that's an issue? Is I have more bad, bad drinking days. Um, not like I drink a lot, but like, you know, I, I have, I'm lucky I have a lot of friends go out to happy hour probably, you know, twice a week. And um, it, even if I eat really well that day and I have two or three glasses of wine, it's like my metabolism, I feel like it just falls to the floor. Yeah. So we need to look at a lot of things with you. So what did you hear about HCG and why do you think that that's going to work for you? I heard about it from a friend of mine at work, um, who a guy that um, his wife's friend had good success with it. And um, I just started doing some internet research and um, you know, kind of looked for a doctor to help, but it seems like the medical weight loss kind of field with HCG people seem to have a lot of success if they, you know, kind of change their lifestyle. My good friend Julie um, told me about about um, this um, this place, um, yeah. Metairie, and then you as well, so that's why I'm here. Yeah. So how old are you and how much do you weigh right now approximately? I'm 33 and I weigh probably 130 to 135, depends on the day. Yeah. Naked? First thing in the morning? First thing in the morning. Maybe not naked. <laughs> so you can like shave a pound off from my pajamas. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're going to wait for um, Dr. Kristen Lee. We'll see what she says. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yep, cool. Oh, okay. For um, Nancy's helping me out, um, okay. figure out this whole HCG thing. Um, we're neighbors, and she knows I've been struggling a lot lately, so uh -huh. kind of on the search for something to help me get back to the way I used to be. So hopefully you don't mind being taped for We're our block. We're about to do a block. Oh, yes. doing a block. Doing a block. Okay. Yes. Well, that's perfect. Um, I didn't wear my blogging outfit today, but we'll go from there, okay? So, um, Amanda, what I'd like to do first is just we're going to go through your history and hear a little bit about what's going on. I like to inform all my patients first about really what HCG is, especially because there's a lot of 
of stuff out there right now about it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of rumors, some of it's true, some of it's not. And I always wanna make sure that my patients really understand what they're getting themselves into because we take it very seriously here. Um, HCG is a weight loss hormone. It is currently not approved by the FDA, so um, specifically for weight loss. However, in our, in our office, we are doing um, a prescription-based HCG, which is sublingual, which means it goes underneath your tongue. Um, our patients tend to prefer that one to the injection. Um, I haven't seen any major change between um, you know, injection or sublingual. They seem to both be equally successful. I think the biggest issue is just making sure that um, HCG is right for you and that you're a good candidate for care. Um, what HCG does in a nutshell is it resets your current metabolism. So you have three different types of fat in your body. You have structural fat, which basically forms the organs and helps support them. You have um, typical normal fat, which we would just accumulate as normal human beings. And then we have abnormal fat. This is the stuff that most people come in here wanting to get rid of. That's what I've got. That's <laughs> what you may want to get rid of. So when we have that abnormal fat collection, uh, what HCG can do is um, it, really, uh, it really works at the brain level to help kind of like a checks and balances system through your um, bank or like a, um, a um, checking account and a savings account. If you deposit a certain amount of money, we want to be able to tell that money where to go. Right now, if you are getting if you're gaining weight and you have excess fat, normally you're not able to tell your body, well, I'd like it in my calves or I'd like it in my biceps. It goes to these abnormal fat deposits, right? The areas that you probably want to get rid of. Mm -hmm. So what HCG allows us to do is reset that metabolism so we can tell our bodies where we want or we want to pull that fat off of. That's what ultimately makes it so successful. Um, it's typically not hard to pull the weight off. It's hard to keep it off. Okay. So um, what we'll do here is work really, really hard post-HCG to make sure that we accomplish that for you. Are there any side effects or anything? It's a great question. The product that we've been using here in our office, the biggest side effect that we have seen and we have to report to everybody who comes through here is hair loss. I've never seen it in our office. Um, we have had patients come from other um, offices that have done a very long or an extended program of HCG. Ours here is roughly 21 to 26 days in length. Mm -hmm. um, I've had some patients have undergone like 40 and 60 days, which it's a very low calorie diet to go for right. that long. Just and I think that's- to lose your hair. Absolutely, I think that's why you lose your hair. So we've had some success there. Um, we've also had, um, you know, if in times of stress, if you go through a very stressful event, we've seen HCG but be unsuccessful. And if that happens to you, we just pull you off of the program. So that's the great part is if we get our feet wet and this isn't for you, mm -hmm. we will just unplug it all and, and we can pull you off of everything and we're off and running. So um, there's not, it's not like once you start, you have to finish. Um, but no, no side effects, at least that we've seen in our office um, from doing this particular product. Cool. Um, I think there's a whole host of stuff that they obviously would want you to sign off of, uh, right. sign off on because it's not FDA cleared through the office. And so, um, you know, it's important that we, we understand all the risks and side effects and also, you know, medications and there's certain diseases that make it, um, make HCG, HCG unsuccessful. And we would certainly go through that paperwork with you today and make sure that you are a good candidate for care. So what are your weight loss goals? I would like to lose at least 10 pounds as much as 15. When I got married, I was almost 20 pounds lighter than now. That was, those were, that was great, but if I could at least hit 10 to 15, I would be thrilled. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and how long has it been since you weighed? Um, four years, four years. Um, when I got pregnant with my son, who's now three. So it was right at that time that it all, you know, changed <laughs> for me. So. Um, so I've done some research, I've Googled it, I've looked online, and there's some things out there that they say it's, it could be bad for you or dangerous. Is there anything? to that or have you seen anything like that with your patients? Amanda, you know, Google can be your best friend <laughs> or it can be your worst enemy. But I will say that a lot of these accounts are actually accurate and the fact that HCG became very available and very marketed about a year ago and you could buy it at 
um, markets around town. You could buy it off the internet for 10 bucks. I've heard a radio ad as recent as last week on call us up and we'll give you a free bottle or a free 30 day supply of HCG. And is that the same stuff? No, it's, it's not. not. Okay. Um, there's a very broad difference in the quality of the products. First of all, you're using a prescription hormone okay. compared to something that, um, you know, first of all, is in prescription. And secondly, we don't even know where they're coming up with it. I could stick a bottle of water in the back, fill it up and call it HCG and sell it to you. And with, the, um, with using a 500 calorie diet, which is what HCG basically is, um, in addition to, that's the diet component to, right. to, the, to the process, you would lose weight on that. So people interpret that as, okay, I'm having success, but it's, but it's extremely dangerous to do this without, um, first of all, knowing where your product's coming from and what kind of product it is. And secondly, doing it with the support of an office um, where you know, if you need some type of um, nutritional management pre and post HCG, if you need support during HCG, and most importantly, if you need like some type of therapy help because obviously when we're looking at weight, there's so many reasons why people gain, but we always want to make sure that we address the reason that you gain the weight to begin with right. so that you don't just end up back here in three or four years. Right. Makes sense? Yep. You only want to have to do this one time. Yes, that's <laughs> the plan. So also looking online, I know that there's, um, you said there's stuff you can buy, you know, off the internet. I know that, but then I know even at offices like yours, they have um, the, the natural homeopathic, and then there's also the kind you get, you know, from the, the prescription base. Yes, that Amanda, one. that's a great question. Um, you know, and what we like to say here is that with the homeopathic, it's even less regulated than the prescription HCG. And so that's where you get all the variances in with the homeopathic. And unless you're working with a practitioner who knows with, um, who really is comfortable using homeopathic and where it originated from and also the strength of it, um, I would just really advise not using homeopathic because it can be so variable because there is nothing really managing it. Right. No, it makes sense. I wouldn't want to do it if it's not the real thing. It'd be kind of a waste. Yeah, and then some of these offices, they do have a great command over where they're, you know, getting their homeopathic um, supply from. But, you know, you just, it's always just tough to do your due diligence. So do you think my goal, 10 to 15 pounds, is that realistic? Um, it, do you, how long would that take? What's your experience with that? So I, I, I don't want to over expect, but I also want to know what yeah, you think. Yeah, let's manage yeah. expectations. Yeah, yeah. I think the majority of our patients lose between 15 and 25 pounds on HCG, okay? okay? So your goal weight of losing 10 to 15 pounds, I think is a more than appropriate goal on HCG. I think what, um, what my experience has been in the past with people who want to lose between that 10 and 15 pound range mm -hmm is that um, we'll probably pull off roughly 10 pounds, and then we're going to kind of work at making sure that we can pull off maybe another three or four as a cushion, but we're gonna do that the good old fashioned way with nutrition and exercise. Okay. And then that way we can make sure that we create a new set point for your metabolism so that you will stay at that new weight. Um, a lot of times my patients, I'd rather you have a goal that's a little bit less than your real goal so that we can achieve that and really achieve it with success so that you're there, your expectations are managed, my expectations are managed, and then we're all happy in the end. Okay, and then this whole program that you do, how many weeks or days or should I expect? HCG ranges, our program here is, is variable, really depending on the person. Most of our patients undergo about a 26-day HCG program where they're actually on the hormone. Now, there's days where you're not on the hormone and you're doing a certain particular diet. There is three weeks that follow HCG treatment okay. in which you're following a particular diet and you do have some restrictions. However, your calorie count is much more acceptable at about 1,500. So people always look forward to that time. And then after those three weeks, there's very few restrictions that we put on our patients as far as a dietary concern is. And really it's just all about management at that point and how to maintain your new weight loss. You said 21, 26 days, so about a month. How much does that cost over the month? So Amanda, normally our treatment programs here range anywhere between 700 and about $1,200. But a lot of our patients are here not for just HCG. We treat so many other issues that can impact weight, such as hormones or um, issues with uh, the thyroid or the metabolism or the adrenals or 
Um, maybe you just don't really know how to exercise well. So a lot of our patients end up doing a very complete program with us. And typically those price ranges around $1,500 for our program here. Let's have you just pull your skirt up a little bit. There we go. I just need to measure from this hip bone down to your knee. Whenever, what we're going to be doing is each week when we check in with each other, we're going to be going through all of this. We probably won't um, measure you again until we're a little bit further. Okay, okay lift your arm out there. Perfect. And then what I want you to do is point to your belly button for me. Point to your belly button? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you do it? This is a test. <laughs> oh, I'm mm glad -hmm. it's you and not me. <laughs> and we're going to do your hips. And we're almost done. Point right to your hip bones for me. scale and you want to leave your shoes off. So what this scale does for us, I really like this because it's going to, oh I'm sorry Amanda, you're 33. How tall are you? 5'3". Really 5'3"? <laughs> Probably 5'3". <five, three. laughs> Come on, have a step on the scale. <laughs> so when uh, we really like this scale because when we're on this scale, not only is this going to be taking your weight, but it's going to be taking your fat percentages, your water weight, and your muscle. So that's really important during HCG because with any weight loss diet, right. you want to make sure that you're losing fat and that you're not losing valuable muscle or water. So when we go through these results here, we can see that um, we have your age and your height here. Your weight came in at 133.6. Your body mass index was at 23.7. Your fat percentage was at 30.4. The other numbers we're not going to be too terribly concerned about, but you can see down here at this desirable range, the fat percentage is between 21 and 33. So we are within that range, but you can see that we're on the upper end of that. So we're going to work on pulling you down towards the 21 while you're here in the program with us. The other number, the other few numbers that might be of importance is the fat mass is at 40 pounds. And again, you can see here, our desirable range should be between 24 and 45. So we're on that upper end of the range and we certainly can have room to pull that down. Here's our muscles at 93 and our total body water is at 68. Now, hard today to really calculate whether or not you're dehydrated or not, but mm -hmm. when, we certain, when we have ones in the future, we'll certainly be able to tell you if you're dehydrated. You've got it. So Amanda, we'll go through everything up front. I'll be sure and give you all the product information. You'll be picking up your HCG here in a few days. We're going to also go through the first two days of your HCG program, which is called the Gorge Days. And these are extremely important to your success here um, with HCG. So we'll go through that here in a minute, but um, I look forward to seeing you in person next week okay. and we'll touch base. And if you have any questions or comments, um, my cell phone is provided at the bottom of all your paperwork and you'll have that and you just give me a call. Don't be shy. Okay. Because if something's not going right, it's easier for me to fix it right when it happens right. instead of you waiting a few days for time to pass. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah, makes sense. All right, great. Well, I look forward to seeing you next week. Cool. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.